All right, so for the next Divine Paralog, I'm trying to think what the best one to do. So there's Magma Cannon, which takes 25 turns. So that could take a while. This one takes 20 turns. Uh, and let's see. This one's 30. And this one is 35. I think we'll try the Magma Cavern one. 25 turns seems okay. Uh, we do have some bond conversations just to get out of the way, I guess. So, Chloe and Marth. Oh, she should be level 10 with Marth now, right? There's nothing wrong with resting now and then. Why not take it easy for the next battle? I agree, and you should do the same. I want to see this war through without losing anyone. That had nothing specific to Chloe or Ma. But, that one. Level 10! Mercurius. So. Uh, and that means, so I can double check. Yes, I am maxed out in my bond with Edelgard, so I can switch out the ring to be something else now. Uh, so Chloe as well can be switched out. Jade doesn't have a ring. Although, to be fair, I don't think I'll be using Jade over Louis because the stat difference is just huge. Like, level 16 compared to level 12, but I've got 7 more defense. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's go ahead. Uh, I suppose we can do the inventory stuff in the chapter itself. So let's begin the chapter. Divine Paralog, Magma Cavern. The Radiant Strategist. Well, that makes me think it's... This place is Sorry? sweltering. Are you sure there's an emblem bracelet here? Hmm. Ah, yes, I found it. This is the bracelet of the strategist. Yeah, strategist should be Soren. That's a relief. Radiant, at least. Thank you, Tiki. I'll summon the emblem right away. Advise us. Emblem of Acumen. That's a strange invocation, but okay. There we go. Soren's cool, I like Soren. So, it's finally happened. <laughs> I can't say I've been looking forward to this. Hi there. Thanks for answering our summons. I'm the Divine Dragon. I am Soren. I suppose you're here to ask for my aid. I would prefer it if you'd bother someone else. Mm hmm There's not that many people to bother. What? There is only one person who commands my loyalty. You are not him. Please, don't say that. We need your help. I wonder, because I'm pretty sure Ike is an emblem ring. Does having Ike make that different? Yet you seem reluctant to force me to give it. That seems to be your only available course of action, if you really are so desperate. That's a fair point, but I'd really rather come to an agreement. <sighs> Very well. Prove you're strong enough to be worth my time, and I'll consider it. Really? You will? You don't seem the type to take no for an answer, so it appears I have little choice. Even so, I'm very glad. Thank you, Emblem Soren. I only said I would consider it. Not exactly a paragon of listening skills, are you? Yeah, this is exactly what Soren should be like. Like a Saki know-it-all. Due to the high number of enemies with staves on this map, staff and dance animations will be set to your turn for this battle. You can change this time at any time in the settings menu. That is really nice that they understood. Oh, by the way, there's a lot of staff animations on this one. So we're going to do this for you and that will help get through the map quicker. All right, so let's have a look at the map to begin with. So we've got a few... Oh. Well, there are a co uh, huh, a bunch of martial monks that don't move. Magma craters, okay, so that will be destructible, I guess. There's chest there, chest there. So we've got a couple of flyers, uh, armored lance units, 
lots of lance units, sword units at the bottom, and there's Soren with the bolting. So three to ten range, cannot follow up. Long range thunder magic has reflect. Allies within two spaces gain deals 50% of magic damage taken back to the foe for one turn. Well, that's nice. And then Rex Caliber, which is uh, the most powerful wind magic, says it's level D, but it was SS in Radiant Dawn or Path of Radiance. So Anima Focus, so when using tomes, unit def inflicts defense minus three with fire, hit minus 20 with thunder, or move minus two with wind magic for one turn. Uh, when they deal effective damage, deals plus seven damage. Block recovery. When attacking a broken foe with a tome, grants a chance the foe will remain broken. Chance increases with high speed. Well, he's got five speed at the moment, but that's because of bolting. And then flare. When attacking with tomes, inflicts resistance minus 20 on foe, and unit recovers 50% of damage dealt, but an extra 10% to foe's resistance. And that's just outright. That's, you know, no trigger chance. So, yeah. And then Cataclysm. Used to attack foes in an area with fire, thunder, and wind magic at 40% damage and wind is effective against flying. So, half damage but attacks three times, seems like. So, alright, well. Not so many axe users on this map. I mean, there's a few, but not a huge amount. But we're going to be taking on our best units anyway, so we don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, so that's Saline, Alfred, Alchrist... Yunaka, Jean's our best healer, Lou's our defensive person, we'll take Fram, we'll take Citrin, uh, Etier, uh, Chloe, or Diamant. Hmm, I guess it'll be the Diamant, although Chloe is my only flyer, so I think I should take Chloe, so who should I not take? Oh, Jade, yeah, absolutely not taking Jade. Alright, so, optimize all, does this thing equip a ring? Uh, items held by other units we sent to the... Oh, I don't want to take stuff away. Like, I think the items are fine. It's just the rings I want to do. So we'll do that. Uh, put that back on. Alright, emblem rings. So, that's fine. Etier's fine. Uh, Saline. Who should Saline have? Because there's not actually that many in terms of, like, magic. Like, I've already maxed out Micaiah. Edelgard for the extra... I suppose Edelgard's fine, because she uses a sword as well as healing. Yunaka could do with one that's, like, just strong outright. Uh, so I guess that would be Leaf. Because I'm not taking Lapis. Leaf, I am ready. And then Alchrist. Uh, he's using Alphonse at the moment, but let's see. Why not Hector? Lord Hector! Ho, ho! Although I should probably, I should probably swap Hector and um, yeah, Chloe doesn't need it, so let's swap out Hector. Hector. Let's there we go. go. Uh, Alchrist. Who? Who should Alchrist use? Marth or somebody else? Tiki. Hmm. Micaiah? Nah, I don't need Micaiah. Oh yeah, t definitely Hector. take off um, from. Oh no, Louis was using Sigurd actually, wasn't he? I suppose he doesn't need Marth. it, so. Marth and Alfred. Alfred could do with a bracelet. Oh, they, there, they're on the first page. Okay. So. Tiki? Tiki? Yeah. And then, let's see. So, Citrin can take Micaiah. Micaiah! Because she can now use staves. I currently don't have anything equipped. So, Fram has Selica. Uh, Alchrist has Sigurd. Is Sigurd best on Alchrist? I think I'll take. Sigurd! Yeah. So, Alchrist needs somebody else. So, Fram and Selica. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Etier is not using a bond ring. So, let's see. That's fine, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Uh, Yunaka's using Leaf. Diamant's using Roy. Citrin's using Micaiah. Uh, Alfred's using Tiki. Hector is on that. Yeah, I guess I'll just put him on Alphonse for now. And then Jean. Yeah, I need to give him his items back. So, inventory. So we got all the items there. That's fine. Uh, yep, that's okay. Mm hmm. 
Right, I can give Citroen a staff. So let's take off the Vulnerary and give eight heal. Yeah, that's fine. Chloe is fine. She's got lances and axes. That's okay. We got Saline. Saline can use staves because she's a Vidam. Yunaka is using. Oh, she's got a Draco shield in her thing. Okay, let's put that in inventory for now. Alchrist needs Etier's Steel Bow Plus. So swap for a Steel Bow. Jean needs the heals. So let's see. Rescue. Illum. Obstruct. Let's take an Obstruct. Could come in handy. And then a full heal from Clan. Alright, Louis fine, he's got the Steel Lance. Chloe's got the Silver. Alfred's fine, he's got the Fencilier. Okay. I don't think there's any other items to take. Oh, uh, give back the Falkvanger to Diamant. Uh, for a Steel Sword. Alright, who else has got stuff? Silver Axe, I don't think anybody is actually using Axes, because Anna's not on the party either. Yeah, Lapis is fine. Boucheron, yep. No ton. Yeah, nobody's using axes. So, lance, lance, heal. Uh, do I need to have a restore? Nah, probably not. So, swap for uh, a mend? A physic? A physic. Okay. So, yep, that's fine. Nothing better for Yunaka to have. Healing men's okay, Fault Vanger, yep, 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 yep. Uh, I'll, I'll take more heals than that. Actually, I guess I won't. Yeah, I can buy more heals later. Uh, oh, I've got a restore on um, Fram. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Shielding Guard, yeah, let's do that. And then, what was it? It was a steel body, steel hand art. So that's 18, 118, 18 compared to 18, 118. So you lose 20 hits for the steel one. So I think I'll leave that off. All right. So then now just do positioning. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a split of two teams, I think. So lances on the right. So we got Alfred, Louis, Chloe at the front lines. They'll go right. And then yeah, we've got a few lances and flyers on the left. So hmm. do I send Diamant to the left? No. Diamant at the bottom. Clans at the back. Citrons at the front. Alchris there. Yunaka there. Yeah, Jean's at the back, Saline's on the back line, Fram's behind. That seems like a good layout, I think. So, let's make a save. Save with the same slot. And we shall fight. Let us be done with this then. Ah, oh, that's what it is. It's not impassable. It's just it does damage over Volcanic time. Volcanic bombs. Avoid any areas where it looks like they might fall. Falling volcanic bombs deal damage on impact. They're guaranteed to fall wherever you see magma craters, so keep your allies off of them. Units and craters will also take damage. And defeat emblem Sorin. All right. This. So obviously they tell you to avoid putting units over the crater. But yeah. All right. So, right hand side. This isn't so bad. Let's do steel lance equipped. Whatever you ask. Silver lance equipped. Oh, and they're playing the the radiant dawn music as well. Oh, that's great. Anything. I like that. That's the departed. All right. Uh, break with a javelin. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well get hit in. Why not? 
Alright. Sure. So I'm not getting hit by the crater. And I can deal damage back, so that's fine as well. I won't right, lose. So Right. Did I give him the armor slayer? He does have an armor slayer. So could give him the armor slayer, just keep it equipped. So armor slayer. Wait. Short knife. Off to the convoy with you. Sounds perfect. I suppose My I will have a healer on both sides. I'll protect you. Alright. Alchrist here. Yunaka there. Alright, I wanna I, I wanna split them up. So I've got Saline here, Whatever and I've got uh, Fram going on the right. Yeah. Yeah, two teams. Alright, Magma Craters go. Twenty damage. I was expecting ten. Yep, it's just a flat twenty. Okay, well. That's something to keep an eye on then. Ooh. They swiped 2,000 gold and a rescue? I don't get that gold back, do I? That was a fracture, wasn't it? You That's unfortunate I did 12 lasted. damage. Oh, and of course, it's a great attack, so got doubled before he could even hit me. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. This smoke is obscuring our view. We should advance carefully. It's fog of war as well? Huh. Ground plus smoke. Terrain engulfed by smoke will reduce units avoidance rates, defense, and resistance. The smoke on this map in particular will also spread slowly over time, so be careful. Alright, well. Interesting. Uh Yeah. Oh no, I can I can swipe the two thousand gold back. Alright, so that was a break, right? Yes, fracture. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of units there now. Okay, so. Oh, I really don't want to take 20 damage. And Chloe doesn't have cancer. In fact, Louis doesn't have cancer at all either. I thought he had cancer. I thought it gave him cancer. Was it just Alfred? I guess it must have been just Alfred. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I can't actually hit anybody. But keeping on that Leaven Sword as well. Alright, let's see. How many people could I get hit by if I'm here? It'd be one. Two. Two mages. Oh yeah, that's, that's not great. Ah. Alright, we'll worry about that side later. Uh, let's take out these guys. Because who's got... Ah, clan has warp Ragnarok. So, if I engage... Warp Ragnarok all the way over here. That doesn't kill them. It actually doesn't kill any of them. Hmm. Right, Alchrist, what can you do? Attack, Steel Bow. So that's 11 on the, the Knight. But the Longbow does 20. Just lacking a little bit of strength on some people. Alright. Let's see, Yunaka. 
If she engages and does a killer axe, a quadruple hit, yeah, she does no damage. The killer axe is not enough to break through the defense. So I guess I'm going to do saline instead. So attack with fire. And then 9 damage. Can't do 9 damage with anybody though. Not with uh, Yunaka at least. With Alchrist? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So... I guess we'll do Alchrist first. Nice, that takes care of that problem. So they're all going to go for Alchrist at the moment. Uh, attack with a hand axe, 21. Oh, I should have done uh, attacking with a longbow first. Right. Well, I have Sigurd, so let's do Gallop and we'll get some extra movement. And we'll put myself here with Liberation. Oh, it's not enough. That kind of sucks. Huh. Alright. I need to do a little bit of damage somehow. But I don't think I can. Alright, let's do engage. So I think engaging with Roy gives me enough stats to one-shot this mage now. Yeah, just. That was a fierce battle. Alright. So, Jean, Staff, Obstruct. Ooh, it's ranged. Okay. So I can stop them from going down south. Alright. It's an interesting staff use. That's okay. So now, yeah, they have to go that direction. Or they could break through it, I guess, but I don't think they'll do that. Uh, engage. Nah, it's not worth it. Because the mage is going to go for either Alchrist or Diamant, and they both got ranged weapons equipped. Ooh, that armor knight. Tell you what, let's do engage, and then kill the armor knight instead. It's not enough, is it? 22, take 22 back. Ugh. Well, I suppose override technically does... Uh, oh, if I do override, I'm going to get stuck in that position. Hmm. Yeah, I think I save the engage next turn. So, trade over. Oh, if I give him the mini bow, then the mage will go for Alchrist instead. Yeah. Alright, we'll just put myself here. And now we can worry about this top side. Uh, two mages is more than I want to deal with. Only Alfred has Canter. So I think we play this bit slow. We're keeping an eye on that Levin Sword. Uh, Chloe's taken a hit, so I need to heal her. Yeah. I suppose, actually, if I engaged with Tiki, Tiki takes less damage. Emblem. So, attack. Eternal Claw. Nope. Still not enough to kill. So what about... Yeah, take out a mage. 24? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm getting sleepy. Alright, what kind of level do you get? Level 5? That's a great level. That's what I like to see. Golden Lotus as well. And the XP is at max. Alright, and then we put him... Yeah. Just to block them up from going too far away. So yeah, what's Golden Lotus again? 
May present may prevent 50% of physical damage taken. Nice. And his stats are uh, 20% chance for doing that. It's not not too bad. All right, Louis. Oh, he doesn't actually kill because it's not a silver lance. All right, because he doesn't kill because it's not a silver lance. Oh, I can't reach. Attack with thunder. That missed. Why did that miss? I suppose it doesn't matter too much, but it's still kind of annoying. Right, engage. Won't you join me? And we'll do load star rush. Yeah. My prayers are with you. I live to fight again. Because that solves the problem of him being hit by an axe unit. Although, to be fair, it's an axe unit and he's an armored unit, so he's not going to get broken either way. So, staff, heal. Oh, that's a big help. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here. Check ranges. So, yeah, steel gray tacks. Can Chloe kill? Oh, I can't check. Yeah, I don't think she can do 19 damage, unfortunately. So I guess I'm going to put her... Ooh, where should I put her? The overlapping ranges is a bit confusing. Mm. I don't want it to get broken, so I'm just going to put her here. Oh, I could have done Hector, actually. Yeah, 20 damage is just huge for this point in the game. So I wonder if that's a scaling thing, or whether it is actually always 20 damage, no matter how much HP you have. Okay, so then that means a free uh, axe attack on me. I cannot afford to lose. Goes for Tiki. Scatter like Ooh, nice. Oh. oh no! Smashed, so that means I'm broken and pushed back. Oh, I couldn't counter attack at range anyway, but it's a good dodge. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Hmm. Uh -huh. Hey, healing up enemies that were behind me is a-okay. So there's the smoke. 